Hello everyone, welcome to day second of March Lead Code Challenge and I hope all of you are having a great time. The question that we have in today is, is subsequence. Here in this question, we are given two strings, S and T. We need to identify whether S happens to be a subsequence of T or not. For example, here they have provided us with few cases where S is A, B, C, T is A, H, B, G, D, C. As you can see, A, B and C all three characters occur in the same order in T as present in S as a result of which we have to return true. It's a subsequence. Here we have S as A X C and since X is not present in T, we have to return false. Is subsequence lead code 392? It's an easy level question on lead code and I totally feel the same. So let's take the same example that was specified in the question and by definition of subsequence, all the characters in S should occur in the same order in T. So what do we do? We take two pointers, I and J to keep track of the characters that we are currently visiting in both of them. What do we see first? The ith character in S happens to be equal to T, Jth character in T as a result of which we'll increment both of them. So I now point, points to B and J points to H. What are we going to do next? We will keep searching for B in T till the time the Jth character in T doesn't match with the Ith character in S. So is H equal to B? It's not equal as a result of which we'll have to increment T. So T gets incremented to this position. And let's proceed ahead. Here we see that both the characters have turned equal as a result of which we'll together move them ahead. Now I points to C and j points to g so are these two equal these are not equal as a result of which what we have to do we simply have to increment the jth pointer till the time we don't see an a c so it gets incremented to d d is also not equal to c again it gets incremented to c here we see that it's a matching case c matches with c as a result of which what we will do, we'll simply increment the S pointer, which is I. And since we have found out all the elements of S in T, it's a happy case. We have to return true. In case after the complete iteration of T, some characters still goes missing. We have to return false in those cases. Without further ado, let's quickly walk through the coding section and I'll exactly follow the same steps as I have talked here. As told in the presentation here, I've taken two pointers. I corresponds to S string, J corresponds to T string. Till the time I haven't exhausted any one of them, I keep on checking if my Ith character in S happens to be equal to Tth character, Jth character in T. If such a case is found, I increment the Ith pointer. Otherwise, I keep on incrementing Jth pointer searching for matching cases. In the end, I simply check if my I happens to be equal to S dot length. If it does, that simply means that all the characters in S have been found out in T and it would be happy case. It will automatically take care of returning true and false appropriately. Also, there is one of the corner case which I have specified. If S dot length happens to be zero, I have to return true because that signifies the input string is empty in nature. The time complexity of this approach is order of length of S plus T. And space complexity is constant time. We are not using anything extra. This brings me to the end of today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. I'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question. But till then, goodbye.